This video will give you some tips on navigating your project schedule in Inspire Planner. So I'm on the projects page and I'm just going to click on the project that I want to edit and it will load in what we call the project schedule view. You may also be able to see a portion of the Gantt chart on the right side of the screen. If you want to hide that, just click on this X icon at the end of the Gantt chart menu. It's the last icon. And you can use that icon to either hide or display the Gantt chart. On the left pane, you'll see a menu of options. And these are used to manage your project schedule. So if you hover over the icon, you can see the action each icon represents. I can save or print my project plan. I can insert or delete a task. I can view the resource allocation. There are also task level actions. There's three icons that you'll see located to the left of each action. If they are in bold, that means that an, that action has been taken for that task. So here I have a file attached and I can just click on it. I can view the file. I can download the file. I can add another file if I need to. In the second column, I can view the Salesforce task assignment. So if I click on it, I can see who's assigned and I can make changes to that assignment if I need to. And then last, we have our Salesforce Chatter. If I click on that, I can see any posts that have been made related to this task. I can also reply to those posts. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a horizontal scroll bar. You can use this to view any project schedule columns that aren't currently visible. Now this project that we're looking at right now is following our best practice for how we recommend you set up the project outline. We have the name of the project in our first row. Indented underneath that, directly underneath that, will be any phases or stages of the project. And then beneath each stage, you would indent once more and you would list all of your subtask or the individual task you need accomplished to complete that phase or that stage. So a visual cue for you will be anything that's in bold is a parent task and then anything in just a regular font is going to be your subtask. And if you see anything in a red text, that means that that task or that phase is overdue. To edit any field, all you need to do is double click in the field and you'll be presented with a text field. Make your changes and just click out of the field. Some fields will give you prompts. Date fields will give you a calendar so that you can select the date that way if that's easier for you or you can just type it in in the format that's displayed. As you make changes to fields, you're going to notice, I'm going to make a change here. You're going to start to notice little red indicators in the top left corner of the field. And those indicate that a change has been made and that change has not been saved. Inspire Planner does not automatically save your changes because we want to give you the option of undoing and redoing actions. And that's what these two top options in the left pane menu are for. But once you've made your changes and maybe you're logging out for the day or you're, you're for some reason you're exiting the program, be sure that you come over to the left pane menu and click on the save project plan because we want to make sure your changes are saved.